There's a reason why Democrats are staunchly against a border wall now when they weren't before and why they vigorously defend sanctuary cities. And it has nothing to do with Donald Trump. They've stumbled upon a way to turn illegal immigrants into legal votes. This is Blaze Angolia, producer of Government Gone Wild, back again to shine a light on what's really going on at our southern border. Democrats have no desire anymore to stop the flow of illegals coming across our border because they are now benefiting from it. That's why they want to abolish ICE and some are even campaigning on tearing down existing border wall fence. Prepare to be infuriated. Since 86, we've accumulated at least another 12 million illegal immigrants in the U.S. That's 33 years ago. That's a long time, especially when you consider the typical illegal has been here more than 15 years, long enough to have kids, even grandkids. Remember, children of illegal immigrants that are born in the U.S. are legal citizens and they get to cast legal votes when they're 18. In fact, Data now shows that most children living with illegal immigrants are born not in other countries, but in the US. Democrats have figured out with every passing year, more and more children of illegal immigrants will cast legal votes against anyone who makes a policy issue of their relatives. They've also figured out that every illegal who crosses our border today creates two to three future voters tomorrow. It's a political calculation, not a humanitarian one, and it's starting to work. Estimates show about 5 million U.S. born children live with illegal immigrant parents. Millions more have already started to vote in border states that carry a big number of electoral votes, and they're already having a big effect on elections. Here's the scary stuff. Everyone knows that you need 270 electoral votes to win the presidency. Deep Blue Cali has the most electoral votes at 55 and coincidentally has the highest percentage of illegal residents at 24%. Number two on the list, Texas. This border state has 38 electoral votes, the second highest percentage of illegal residents at 16%, and the real reason why Democrats want open borders. This usually reliable red state has been trending blue for decades, undoubtedly with some help from a porous border. Democrats know if they flip this state by refusing to secure our border, they can put her 38 electoral votes in the solid blue column forever. Could you imagine the Dem nominee starting off every election with 225 of the 270 electoral votes already banked? That's like giving an Olympic sprinter an 80 meter lead in a 100 meter race. It's not going to end well. But the prize here isn't a gold medal. It's perennial power. Democrats are building a wall, an invisible wall, around the votes they need to win every election. And if that happens, say hello to socialism, the Green New Deal, a 70% tax rate, a bankrupt nation, and President Ocasio-Cortez. So what's the true cost of illegal immigration? The answer might be our very own republic.